What's up y'all, my name is Mark. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is my first video, so I'm super excited to get this started. Uh, today, uh, I'm gonna be sharing with you three movements for your hips where you just go straight through it. It'll take no more than five, maybe 10 minutes, if that, uh, if you really work it. Alrighty, so it's all gonna be from your all fours. So you're gonna be knees under your hips, uh, wrists under your shoulders and then we're just going to go right into a uh, fire hydrant so from here you're just gonna make sure you're keeping your arms straight first off and then from here you know lift that leg up boom let's do 10 repetitions of lifting that leg up uh, now you might not be able to get your leg up as far as i can because i've been doing this uh, sequence uh, for over a year now but with more consistency you'll get better and find that you'll be into a you'll get a better range of motion from here all right so just stay consistent with it uh, once a day is fine uh, 10 reps each one all right so right from that fire hydrant we're going to go right into uh, circles so you're just going to lift that leg up behind you and then just bring that leg forward, turn it so your leg is parallel to the ground or at least as close as you can to get to that. Alrighty, so you can do 10 circles going forwards, six. Everybody's range of motion is gonna be different depending on uh, various factors in our lives. So don't force it in any way uh, past any point that your body won't let you go to. Uh, from here, we're just gonna go forward, lift that leg up first, and then turn it up and backwards. Really take your time with this. You're gonna wanna speed through it, but you really do wanna take your time with it. Let the muscles uh, work, lubricate that hip joint. It's a ball and socket joint, so really take your time with that, and your range of motion will improve as time goes. So we did one side, you know we gotta do the other side. So let's balance it out. Uh, and go from here, all right? So, again, lifting that leg up so it's parallel, bang, all righty. Make sure you're breathing a lot. When I first started doing this sequence, I would always catch myself uh, holding my breath, but breathing through tough exercises is very important. Uh, and just to reiterate one more time, because you really don't want anybody to force anything. Uh, you don't want to force your body past any range of motion that could lead to a possible injury. And I'm sure nobody wants that. Alrighty. And I learned that if we force things in life, eh, it'll come back and get you. Alright, so just honor yourself, honor your body, meet your body where it's at. And you will see an improved range of motion uh, if you stay consistent with just doing this once a day. Alrighty, so uh, that's a great way to get your hips nice and loosened up, especially if you're sitting down a lot uh, on your day-to-day -day basis. I uh, highly recommend doing this. Again, 10 reps per uh, sequence and just hit each side. And let me know if this is uh, brings any value to you and is great to do uh, just to again if you have tight hips uh, if you're about to go into a leg workout uh, or just any type of workout trying to recover get your hips loose if they're sore uh, from a workout from the other day or something like that so uh, again thank you so much for tuning in uh, if you brought value share this with a friend somebody that uh, might need their hips loosened up, might need to improve their range of motion uh, in their squats or just improve their the quality of their movement and leg workouts. Alrighty, so hit that like button, subscribe, share with a friend that might need uh, help and look forward to seeing y'all back in here. Alrighty, peace.